Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we will hopefully be finishing up this bathroom remodel. If this is your first time here, I've been working on this bathroom for at least a couple of months now. It's my longest project by far, but it's been my biggest project by far. If you haven't seen all the progress that I've made, make sure that you go back and watch the videos to catch up to see where we are now because it has been a really, really long process. But we are here now. All of the major remodeling work has been done. It's just mainly warming up the space now. It's kind of echoey in here. That's because we have all hard surfaces. In last week's video, I installed this cabinet. We talked about the hardware for the vanity, but a few small projects today. Oh, also we did this, framed out this window, but a few more small projects and finishing touches in this bathroom will hopefully be done. So if you've been wondering if I was going to fill this big wall behind me, the answer is yes. And today is that day. I want to add some floating shelves there in a wood tone to kind of warm everything up even more. So let me show you how we're going to do that. These boards are gonna be my shelves, but I don't want any brackets or anything showing, and I could build hollow floating shelves like I've done in the past, but I wanted these to be on the thinner side. So I'm gonna do a different technique that I've never done before. So I've got these boards, and I'm going to rip an inch and a half on my table saw that's going to be a small back piece that's going to screw into the studs and then I'm going to have the front piece left over. So how I'm going to connect them back together to make it look like one piece is with this, these oak dowels. And I'm going to trim these to be obviously shorter to fit within this board. But what I need to do first is drill my holes before I rip my board so my holes line up perfectly. Also, before I rip the shelves down into two pieces, I'm gonna go give everything a really good sanding, sanding, make them nice and smooth, because it'll be easier to sand them when it's one piece versus two pieces. So 
this is how it's gonna go. The peg's gonna go through here and then in like that. So we can just hammer this down, but to make it go in easier, instead of having like a blunt tip, I am using my sander to kind of smooth down the sides right here. So it's just a little bit easier for the dowel to go into the wood. Okay, the shelves are ready to be stained. And normally I would use an oil-based stain. I would use um, wood conditioner first, but on pine, it just, it's really difficult to stain. It turns out blotchy. So I've been experimenting with this solid stain from Minwax. This is in the color Driftwood. And so I was trying it on some pine. So you can see how pine has like these stripes here and I wanted to kind of minimize that those different colors are going to accept the stain differently and so this is the solid stain where it you can still tell that it's wood but it's a lot less dramatic than the oil-based stain plus it doesn't smell as bad it's easier to clean up it's water-based so you can clean it up with just water and soap and I think that this is a really good match for the vanity. So we're gonna go ahead and stain the two shelves. We'll probably end up doing two coats. Okay, I've got all of our base parts, back parts of the shelf screwed into studs. Now this is the part I'm a little nervous about is getting the front part of the shelf to slide onto our dowels. Now I made it where it's going to be very, very tight. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to like beat it in with a hammer and a piece of scrap wood so I don't damage the actual shelves, so fingers crossed that everything fits. Before I move on, there is one thing I did forget to do, and that was to add some silicone 
in between this shelf right here and the wall and that'll protect water from getting behind here it, if i it, it shouldn't be much water but if i reach up to grab like shampoo or something off the ledge i don't want it going back there so i need some silicone to really seal that up Okay, the construction and demo and rebuilding and projects with big tools, all of that is officially done in the bathroom. I touched up the paint behind me and now all that's left is to add all of the finishing touches, the decorations, everything to really cozy up and warm up this bathroom. Okay, you guys had lots of opinions on the vanity hardware, and thank you for that, because I asked you guys to help me. And I think the majority of you loved the Hobby Lobby knobs as much as I did, so I'm gonna go with those on the cabinet doors. And then I think I'm just gonna use the um, knobs that I use in my kitchen, because they're pretty simple and I like pretty simple. I think the other ones were just kind of too rustic and I didn't like that for the bathroom. This bathroom is not a rustic design at all. So I'm thinking this pull and these knobs.
Okay, the bathroom is all done, finally. I can't wait to show you guys, but first, let's take a look at where we started with this bathroom before we see the after. All right guys, that's it for today's video and that is another room makeover done. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm curious if it turned out like you thought it would. I love it. I say this at the end of every makeover I do, but it's like one of my favorites. It's been a labor of love for months now, but I am so excited to finally say that this room is done but I still have a lot more projects that I wanna do, so make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you like this video and don't forget to tell me what you guys think and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.